Master Your Mindset Radio, Episode 80. Welcome to Master Your Mindset Radio, the show where we empower you to conquer limiting beliefs and transform your world with your gifting and purpose. Now for your host, Elizabeth Nader. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today's episode is titled, Impatience Kills. What does it kill? Well, it kills dreams, it kills futures, it kills possibility. Come along with me for a little bit. Let's talk about why impatience can do that and how you can address it. So I mentioned in my Mindset Minute yesterday that impatience can kill a fish. How is that relevant? Well, I brought home a fish for the kids and for those of you who have ever purchased a fish, it's in a little plastic bag with the water it was swimming in and you put it in your new tank, but you're supposed to acclimate it. You're supposed to be patient. You're supposed to put that bag in the new tank so that the water temperature gets, you know, the fish gets acclimated to it, right? So the water temperature in his bag matches eventually that in the tank and then you can take him out of the bag. He doesn't get stressed out because if you do that too soon, it changes his environment. He gets stressed out and likely dies. Well, some of us, namely me, are not patient with things like that. So I remember putting the bag in there, letting it float and watching it for a few hours, then just thinking, this is silly. I'm just going to put him in the water. What could happen? So impatient me dumps cute little fish in the water. And within a day or so, cute little fish is dead. I don't know if it was me. Probably I was impatient. I didn't follow, didn't follow the rules. In fact, had I allowed for that time to pass, that short time to pass, I would have enjoyed a longer time with that fish. Now, I learned my lesson, although I don't really love fish, so it wasn't a horrible thing for me, but still, I don't want to kill a fish, right? But I learned my lesson. So my daughter recently convinced our husband to buy a hamster. And let me just once again say convinced him because as far as I'm concerned, it's a rodent. I don't know why we have a rodent in a cage in our house, but hey, she wanted a hamster and daddy got her a hamster. So now it's there. And she says to me, well, I can't touch it for two days. I said, why can't you touch it for two days? They said, don't touch it. The people at the store said, if you touch it, you'll stress out the hamster and it can die. So don't touch it for two days. Well, I had all the PTSD come back from the fish episode. So not that I was actually going to touch the hamster, right? That wasn't happening. And not likely will ever happen, but I made sure that she did not touch that hamster for two days because I didn't forget about what I learned before. But, you know, impatience, I want to pick up my hamster, impatience kills. So short of these two cute little, or not so cute, uh, stories about pets and, uh, you know, things we do right and do wrong with them, the bigger issue here is from a mindset standpoint, is are you willing to walk through your life and be patient to let things unfold in the manner that they have to? Or are you so impatient to get to your vision, to get to your dream, to get past a difficult situation that you end up killing possibility in your life? You end up killing dreams in your life. The problem is that we are not naturally patient people. I don't think anyone is naturally patient. Maybe a few people have that gift. But we all have a certain level of impatience for success, for progress. And we have some kind of trigger in our mind, different for each of us, that says, all right, enough, no more waiting, let's go. And we either push through with something too early or we say, forget this, I'm not waiting, I'm done. And we walk away from our commitments early. Somehow we think that we have to change our circumstances. They're not changing fast enough. So we're either either going to quit something right before we have a breakthrough or we're going to try to push something through that isn't yet ready, right? To put that fish in the water that isn't ready to go in yet. And either way, we're killing possibility. And notice with either decision, whether we're quitting early, walking away from something, or we're pushing too quickly to try to get to something we're not ready for. Either way, what isn't changing, what's not changing is you. You're not changing yourself. You're not looking at yourself and saying, what do I need to do to overcome this challenge to get to my dream? 
What do I need to do to slow down, accept where I'm at, work on myself, continue to hold on to my vision and the possibility, but not push it too soon? Because either way, it's a challenge. It's a challenge when you stick to a task, stick to a dream, and stick to a situation that isn't coming through quickly enough for you. Years could pass. I mean, that's that's not easy. It's it's just as it's it's the same thing if if you just give up. You're in a difficult challenge and you just give up. Either way, you're quitting on something. Either way, you're not changing yourself because you don't want to face either the change you need to make or the patience you need to have to let change happen in you. We need to evolve to the point where our dreams are ready to unfold. The dream and the vision doesn't have to change. It's there. We see it. You should hold on to it because if you don't have vision, you have nothing. But you have to understand that if you get that too soon and you're not ready for it, it will fail. It won't work. It won't be what you thought it would be. So run towards the challenges. Don't walk away from them. Don't be impatient with them. But also just stick to the daily task or whatever you're doing to push towards your dreams. If you feel like you're in the dark right now and you don't understand why it's coming to pass, don't be discouraged. Things may not be working around you. It may be hurtful. It may be frustrating. And the results you need may take years sometimes, not weeks. That's hard to hear, but you have to know in your life when you have actually accomplished that dream, that vision, you know what that feels like, and there's nothing better. So allow it to unfold. Take your frustration and channel that into changing your mindset. Channel that into improving yourself. Understand that patience is a virtue that changes you because impatience is a killer. It crushes dreams. It puts you in a state of retreat, and it it, it basically stops you from embracing risk. You're impatient. You want it to happen now. You wanted it to happen yesterday. So patience is a mindset. It's one that says it's worth it. I'm worth it. I can make it through this challenge. It's worth waiting for. That vision that I have, I know that's for my life. I know it's meaningful. So I'm not going to get frustrated in those winter seasons where you don't see anything happen. And you know, that's a good analogy. In the winter, especially if you live in that kind of climate, you know spring is coming. You know it logically, but we get impatient. And by the way, while spring is about to come forth, there's stuff happening underground. Life is happening. Flower bulbs are starting to open underground to push through, right? Plants are starting to wake up. Animals starting to come out of hibernation. You're not seeing it. You've got snow-covered ground. You've got frozen ground. You're not seeing it yet. But inevitably, this winter season passes, and inevitably, the spring comes, and life pushes forth, and on and on. You know it. You live it every year of your life. But for some reason, we don't apply patience to our own life and our own seasons to understand that we have to allow the seasons to do their work. We cannot quit before we reach our breakthrough, nor can we rush to the next season without getting through what we need to learn and what we need to do in order for our dreams to become reality. So remember this, impatience kills. Remember my fish, apply it to your mindset and make sure that you're not killing your future with your impatience or quitting too soon. It's worth the wait, it's worth the struggle to see your dreams come to pass. Talk to you guys next week. Thank you for listening to Master Your Mindset Radio. Before you go, if you wanna be part of a free online community of like-minded individuals for support, resources, and inspiration as you conquer your limiting beliefs and pursue your purpose, go to elizabethnader.com slash community. That's elizabethnader.com slash community. Or search for Master Your Mindset Academy private group on Facebook. Looking forward to seeing you online.